Mono no. It's just over three years uh, post uh, post surgery. Um, not sure when my last uh, update was. I'm suspecting it might have been in October when um, the milestone I hit was for the first time um, I didn't experience spasticity when I ran. Uh, it's now May, May the 14th, uh, and today I experienced, uh, or rather, I didn't experience any visual compromise for the very first time uh, when running. Uh, the quality of me running is massively advanced from where it was, even in back in October. Uh, I'm now able to do two to three sessions a week um, although they are n not always continuous, there seems to be the the threat of the hamstring compromise can can come back and sometimes derail it for um, uh, for a week or more. Um, the hamstring problem is um, I'm, I'm sure that there's some neurological compromise in it somewhere. Uh, however, it does seem to be. A little bit more musculoskeletal um, and posturally driven, if not posture driving a neurolog neurological flaw. So it's a pattern problem, I think. Um, seems to be related to my right hip and also to my psoas and a loss of the single leg raise pattern. Um, you know, because when the problem's presenting it, I can. Um, do some correctives at time and for it to then disappear completely so it is not sort of trauma or, or tissue based in that sense um, and also some reflexology work from Sam can um, also improve it drastically uh, especially when after said reflexology I can go into a deep squat or a warrior pose and get a huge clunk out of my right hip and then you know it's like turning a light on, everything goes uh, goes good, or everything bad goes away. So, uh, another one in the intermittent series of the um, uh, my recovery from brain hemorrhage and surgery. Um, otherwise, everything's, everything's going pretty good. Um, you know, vision is still a little bit of a, um, a deficit in so much as on the focusing and near focus, I still need glasses. Um, I still have that sort of tired feeling in them all of the time and don't have full um, range of vision off to the left if I'm you know, looking as you were able to see then. Um, but it's massively moved on from where it was. Um, the, the Graston and Indian head massage has made a huge difference with the um, um, you know, with improving the vision. I mean, it's like straight after one of those sessions, I, you know, it's like my eyes um, open up. Um, and I don't know if I've recorded it previously, uh, clearing the eustachian tube um, with that downward click off the back of, you have to do it the other way around. Get it folded over at the bottom and then the downward pull to get the crack. Difficult to do in yourself, you're gonna do it in yourself, I find more success holding it like that and, and the sharp downward tug. Uh, and that has a uh, significant improvement in um, balance, visual acuity, overall mental acuity. Um, I think I might have recorded that incident I had probably about um, maybe a year and a half ago, maybe a bit more, where I, th I thought I was experiencing another stroke. In fact, it was just a blockage of the eustachian tube. Um, Paddy Phillips did the clear, and again, it was like a magic wand. So, there we are. <coughs> As you can still see, we've still got the brainstem cough. So, that.